and welcome to Audi TV, the podcast. The Goodwood Festival of Speed in England is the largest historical racing event in the world. Audi has become a regular guest at this rally, which has been taking place annually since 1993, and will be boasting a veritable armada of racing vehicles for the anniversary year. No less than 15 new and historical Audi Comets, piloted by the creme de la creme of former and current Audi drivers, will be representing 70 years of motorsports under the sign of the Four Rings. Goodwood Festival of Speed. The legendary racing event is more than just a competition. It's a festival for very special automobiles, for race cars that have made history, that are still making history. And it's a festival for automobile fans. We call it the biggest car culture event in the world. The idea is to just celebrate the car in all its uh, glorious forms. 150,000 spectators make the Goodwood Festival of Speed the perfect setting to celebrate 100 years of Audi. The best former and current Audi pilots have come to England to celebrate the Audi tradition in 15 legendary racing cars. Audi in racing, it's already uh, history. They came in racing and they won every aspect of it, from rallying to uh, long distance. Le Mans icon Jackie Ix was not the only Audi star guest. Pink Floyd drummer Nick Mason was able to drive the Auto Union Type D from the year 1938. And this was its very last round on the racetrack. This was an honour that the hobby racer was already able to appreciate. It's, it's a bit of living history, you know, it's a, a really extraordinary thing to, to do. In this Audi anniversary year, the Goodwood Festival proved to be a class reunion of sorts for racing stars. Walter Röhl, considered to be the greatest rally driver of all times, was there, of course. I haven't been in this car for 22 years now. Of course, it's a fantastic experience. I'm really curious to know when I'll be driving and if I'll remember everything that this automobile can do. In the car that he drove to victory at Pikes Peak in 1987, the Audi Quattro S1, Walter Röhl showed what he and what the car have still got today. Slow is still not really my cup of tea. Le Mans champion Marco Werner is curious too. They were already powerful back then, real men's cars. The steering wheel is three times as big as the ones we have in the R10 or the R15. This is how Audi celebrated its very own tradition at the Festival of Speed, simultaneously demonstrating the developments the brand has undergone. It's not a surprise that the brand is so successful because all the cars from the different era that are absolutely outstanding. Outstanding automobiles and outstanding history. Audi at the Festival of Speed. Thanks for joining us here at Audi TV, the podcast. We hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.